So we're getting plenty of hydrogen over to this machine, which is actually not really doing too much. So if anything, we're just gonna end up with like a, well, we're, we're, hopefully this is, this, this is actually doing something. It's just not doing a lot. Uh, I do think that if we're going to be nice, we should probably go ahead and start to branch off and move over and, and move some of this piping elsewhere. That way we're not relying entirely on the anti-entropy -ent thermo nullifier, which is, uh, it's, it's, Man, Sand was right. That shit was really lackluster. I'm glad he said something because I might have just been like, oh, it's getting warmed up. <laughs> It'll eventually get there. Let me, uh, let me run. I guess let's run the plumbing. Let's just use regular liquid pipe because it'll still exchange, right? I mean, like, over temperature, slow heating. If we do something that has a thermal reactive, here we go. So we'll use sedimentary rock. And because if we, if I use just radiant then it's gonna like it's gonna cre it's creating a hot spot right here so i feel like radiant is not the way to go just insulated and regular so let me repaint this don't know how i'm gonna do this yet really but we'll start here maybe we'll go like here and then we'll build a bridge or a ladder that goes straight up and then we'll cut across maybe right about here no, it's gotta uh, hold on a second. There's a um hmm. Let's go over by the Wheeze wart. <laughs> and then we'll cut straight across here. And we'll go by this Wheeze wart. Hey. Oh, what is that? Talking lots! That's what I do! <laughs> hey, thank you so much! Welcome! How did you find me? I got some new guys today. I like it. And then we'll do this. And then we'll snip this and we'll go from there. Is it possible to get more out of the cooling room by having the water in it for less time and distance so it's less, less temperature? Uh, smaller droplets, the better. Smaller droplets, the better. So if if we put a smaller, you know, it's a smaller amount of liquids going through at a time, which is basically just if we just uh, use a valve or something like that, then that will... Oh, shit. Um, just hold on a second. Uh, buildings... I don't necessarily need to get too crazy with this. I don't want to eliminate every piece of, uh... You know what? Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, yeah. If I could avoid breaking down some ice, that's only going to benefit in the future. But anyways, yeah, so smaller droplets is going to be, uh, the key. God, this whole thing is on is on emergency alert. I need to change that, because that's... <laughs> that's dumb. I hate, I hate to say it, guys, but that's, uh, that is silly. Let's go ahead and, uh, I guess like right here, and then we can build a ladder across here. They can make that jump. And then we'll kill that. It's fine. And then we'll have them go down here. And then they can just, I think they can just zap this pretty easily without having to worry about, uh, oh, they can build a ladder in front of this thing, huh? Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and build a ladder here, here. Oh, no, can't. Never mind. <laughs> Um, can they reach this? No, they they wouldn't be able to reach it. They can reach from here though, so there that'll do it. So that's um that's a pretty extreme. I don't I don't necessarily need all that stuff. Construction. We'll just make it a nine. It'll get done. Been watching YouTube for years. Well, shit. Talking lots. Well, what brought you this time? What made you What made you decide to come down and check out the stream? That's some piping circuit you're laying. Yeah. Um, let me see. Uh, I'll poke you in Discord with pics of setup and stuff. Oh, please do. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I missed what you said. You said behind the ball, nothing fancy, just some metal cone re reflectors. Let me show you what I have. Oh, the cone reflectors. Let me show you what I have that I had. Well, actually, you could see one right there. You see that bulb right there? That, uh, that ball? Let me, uh, let me grab this one real quick. So this is a new one that I just got. So this is a, uh, it's a helmet. We just put this on here. There we go now. Uh, <laughs> so this is, a, a, it's, a, it's, it's like a, it's like a lamp light, like for like an outdoor lamp. And I basically have a whole bunch of these and they're just resting on a, um, uh, on, it's basically just like a mount that would put like a light in or something. Um, 
<laughs> Bowl. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, but yeah, so it just kind of rests there. So it's kind of, it's kind of a little wonky. Like if you bump it, it's definitely going to fall and probably break. So I had to figure out a way to secure it. But uh, it puts out such beautiful soft light. And I really like the look of the room with like a bunch of orbs around. Just kind of the, the room is just lit by a whole bunch of, of these. Now, this is a larger one. Uh, most of the other ones are smaller. This is a 12 inch. The other ones are eight inches. Not my penis. There we go. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Pretty good setup. All right, so they're working on it. They're working on it. I really hope that the liquid pipe, like regular pipe, does a good job of cooling without freezing. That's the last thing I want to see is, uh, <laughs> is this whole system to fucking fail because it's, uh, the pipes are all frozen. What's that yellow alert still? Sleet wheat. Oh, well, I don't know if that's necessary. Uh, so you dig orders. Here we go. Okay, I'll just click on it. And then, uh, there we go. Oop. Uproot that at your earliest convenience. Perfect. Batteries drain, and then they trigger that. Actually, we should probably keep them topped off. We don't have to worry about these like we do like regular batteries, like real life batteries. Considering we haven't done anything to this whole side, like all day right for the past hour and a half like that's our hour uh that's pretty good it's pretty well sustained we do have a lot we have a sh oh my skimmer is not working anymore right so it is starting to build up a little bit and this is letting all of the natural gas that i had piped in here in so let me go and close that whoops uh let's go and turn on the skimmer just to get this moving how many lights do i have in the room i have 10 uh yeah 10 lights including the the arc light there which, by the way, I don't have that on. I apologize for that. I forgot about that shit. Part of my checklist. This thing basically will trigger just the, um, just the arc light. So if there's like a follow or, uh, or, or a new sub or something, then the light there will react. Uh, but anyways, yeah, there's 10 lights in the room. But again, it's a very big room. So I would say for any particular setup, like stream setup, probably like, Three, four lights is really all you need. Um, and four lights is pushing it. Like right now, I have one light for my face with that big ass orb. And then I have that light back there, which is basically an accent light. And then I have the LED light, but you could replace that with any other light. And, you know, it's, it provides a good look. I mean, three lights will get you done, really. Remind me about the lights. Little light on makes a stream with a big room. This is <laughs> Hey man, this is my this is my office, alright? I live in this room. There was a good amount of time that I was creating content from this tiny little room. Um like years, uh, where I was creating content from a tiny little room. And it was just like maddening. It was like right next to the garage. So like when my roommate would like walk in and out, I would hear it. Oh, there's no build over here. That's why they're kinda of not going through here, damn it. Uh, there we go. Now they'll be able to get it. Does that sand, does snow fall? Or does it maintain? That's ice. Yeah, I bet snow does fall. I'm going to get that. Um, there are four lights. <laughs> there are four lights. There you go. This will take care of this end here. Now we'll get started on this rest of this dig. Oh, they can't make this jump either. Okay. All this is going to melt eventually, so they won't be able to make any of this stuff. Any of these jumps. Well, we'll tackle that once we get there. Whoops. Boom. Yeah, get it, get it, get it. Now we're getting progress. Anyways, yeah, three lights. If you want to have, like, two good lights in the background, just for, like, fill, right? Just a kind of a good, like, you know, look. Two lights is all you need. Uh, like I said, one here and then one here. I, but that one, that's you know, the LED strip is really just kind of an accent light. Right now, right? It's just kind of there just for looks. Uh, but if you want something that does actual work, then, you know, you have a light bulb, so. You don't need tan! Shut up, Boots! <laughs> I mean, it's dope having tan, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not. Joyous seed, huh? Digging up buried objects may uncover a joyous seed. Oh, that's, this is just a, like a... 
fun little plant thing. It's nothing crazy. We can actually, you know what? Maybe we should start, uh, maybe we should expand a little bit more and add some more people. Like add a couple more, you know, apartments. Oh, we don't have the material to do that. We found the weed plant. I was having four using two front light and me and two backfill lights to put myself pull myself off the background. Oh, are you using a um a green screen? That's gonna be a different story if you're using a green screen for sure, as you've already figured out. God, that really is slow. Is it not getting enough water? No, it is. Just separate from walls and said, Oh, okay, okay. I'm a theater in here. <laughs> there you go. Oh, work's getting done. How hot is it over here? Jeez. Yeah, see, the, the pipes are now getting hot all the way over here. So, yeah, I do think swapping out the cooler for the... Hmm. We also should... If we get this whole thing set up and it just works, I'm going to build, like, a double layer of... Uh, of um, insulated just to keep this area from getting too warm. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, you only need one for the front. You You're using two because you're using the cone lights. Which I have a couple right there. I know what you're talking about. They're just like little like shop lights, right? Um, and so you're using two. One, two. Personally, I like the lighting of having the light right on top of the camera. Uh, I actually wish it was a little bit lower, just a little bit, uh, because there's a little bit of a shadow under my nose here, which I don't really, it doesn't really bother me too much, but you know, I wouldn't mind not having it. Um, prevent shadows yeah yeah well if you have the light right in front of the camera then that's gonna that's gonna do it for you too it's getting there i'm gonna make sure i didn't leave anything else that needed to be dug out i don't think so this whole area is gonna be gone in probably 100 cycles man it's melting so fast although i wonder i wonder if the vacuum is actually preventing it or actually making it cool or warm faster like, if I should seal this off, what is this? Gran this is granite right here. So, yeah, what if I... Let me go ahead and do that. We'll just put a... Like, insulated, insulated. Maybe that will help? Because it's going to create a vacuum in here. And I don't know if... If the vacuum is going to keep the ice... Colder longer? I don't know. Bring back the cod light, too. <laughs> That was one light behind uh, behind me. I actually had I had it on the other uh, on the other side over there. I had a light right above my head, which I really liked. The lighting in front of my face is lights above my monitor tends to give me a headache from two the two different light levels. Oh, okay. So you don't like the lighting in front of your face? Oh, okay. That works. Or that doesn't work actually. <laughs> Technically, It is getting cooler, but man, it's still about the same. It's really not that much of a difference. Oh my god, we're actually going to fill up these fucking tanks, guys. <sighs> what has cut this off? I mean, what is our oxygen levels over here? It's probably beautiful. Oh man, very breathable. Look at this. Nice, cool air everywhere. The little smidge. Yeah, kind of warm. It's got these batteries right here. Let's run this machine that we're not using right now. Let's hurry up and finish this damn research. That way we can just get rid of, this, get rid of these machines. If only space was cool. Well, space just doesn't have, um... Is it is it that it doesn't have any energy transfer, or is that it has infinite energy transfer? So, like, they say, when they say, like, oh yeah, your your body, like, super freezes the instant it, it's exposed to, to space. I read that it actually separates all the moisture from your body or something. Space is extremely good. Insulator. <laughs> it's apparently facing the sun. That's the other thing too, right? Like, I don't know how the game handles a vacuum. But just in case, we'll just not allow it to take all this oxygen, actual usable oxygen, out. And they're getting there, but boy, it's taking a long time. Let's speed things up. Idle. And idle. I should let's uh let's go ahead and deconstruct this. Then we're gonna move it over just a smidge. We still I still want it, but let me see. Power generator. We'll move it over just a little bit. Then we'll run the wire to it. Wire. 
Blah, blah, blam. And then we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a door here. And then we're gonna lock this door. This way I can have some guy. Oh, that's emergency. Which is fine. Uh, that way I can have this door available so they can go up here. And I can have somebody go up here, come down here, and actually start to uh, 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 analyze this geyser. Maybe not right now, but nobody needs to be. Like this right here, like they don't need to be in or out of this door. Just lock it. That way we now we now isolated this. So this is all this whole side is now part of this uh um the atmospheric suit and stuff. Send out some probes. I think eventually you get to that point, right? You're sending dupes out into space. Oh, there's a whole lot more ice over here. Oh, and there's something right here. We're gonna have to go and explore that. Let's go ahead and uh what is the temperature over here? Okay, I don't want to mess this up too much. We'll just go ahead and just go... I always go out here, it's fine. And we'll ladder up. Yeah, that's, that's really extreme. We don't really need that, but... Let me see, they can hop over here, and they can go up here. And then we can go... One, two, three, four. There. And then we don't need it to be going off constantly. I don't even hear it anymore. <sighs> I don't even hear it anymore. Nines. Nines. All of these are nines. Actually, you know, now I think about it, I don't think the, uh... Maybe that's the reason why it's slowing down a little bit, because some of these dig orders are pretty low. Yeah. Well, mm, not really. Yeah. Is it an ice vent? <sighs> if only. <laughs> when you start getting pelted by meteors. When you go to space, apparently not in here. I don't think. I think you have to actually go up into space. And we're getting pretty close to that. And actually, I did say I was going to come over here and get all this iron out of here, which I do need. So I think we might go ahead and dedicate a little bit of time doing that. Let me see. We'll do this by four. We'll go over one, two. And then we'll just start digging our way down and around from there. Try to keep this about as isolated as possible here. Well, what did I just miss out? Did I just miss on something? Oh, yeah. Who this? Oxifern seed! I have three. Let's go and get another one. Research done already. Let's get advanced caffeination. Where are we at? 252. Didn't I say I was going to take a picture? Yeah, every 50? I don't remember. Let's go ahead and just take a picture at 50. Big picture. Game. Big picture. Let that run once or twice. Ooh, I'm really curious what's over here. <clears throat> nice to see all these bees warts all over the place. Yeah, I want iron for tiles for, for anything, really. Oh, it's polluted water everywhere. It's polluted dirt. I polluted ice. Might have to eventually do something with that. Like, put in a couple drains or something like that. How does this work? Do I have to actually dig that? No, okay. I can't break it, I don't think. Deconstruct. Oh, I can deconstruct, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Can't. <laughs> He's gonna go right back and do that. The one time they do something on time. Oh, yeah. Look, they're not gonna be able to get across here. And they'll be able to reach that, though. So that's good. What is the... Maybe it was nines. Actually, we'll keep one. What is this? Uh, granite. We'll keep the granite. We'll dig the snow. And then G9. There we go. Oh, let's see where the uh Boy, they fast. Lots of hydrogen up here already. I guess this uh oh I guess we are generating a good amount of hydrogen from what? Oh, you know what? From this. Yeah, from this guy. Huh, how funny. This guy is doing it, huh? Atmospheric dudes was, uh, there's no, wait, what? Max gas pressure. Oh, the surrounding area? No. No oxygen. I guess there's too much pressure in the vicinity. Ambient gas pressure. Oh, shit. So this area is, oh, man. 
I, I think that means we move a skimmer down here. <laughs> or we move an oxifern down here. The oxiferns are doing great down here, though. Like, this is a good spot for them. Um... Let me see what our piping looks like. Oh yeah, you know what? Yeah, we could totally do that. This is dirty water right here. We could just run that. We could just run water in and just clean it up and have the pipe go in here. The hydrogen just sought those puffs out. Are they still alive? Actually, let's go ahead and have these guys uh, continue their chores here. I want all of this iron. All of it. Almost all of it. What is this? Phosphorite. Oh, that's gonna come in handy later. Oh, there's a little thing right here, too. Oh, boy. Okay, we're done with that. Yeah, so I think we move, move a carpet skimmer down here, and that'll help alleviate this problem. Uh, actually, it'll probably help too much. Um, but this one's not doing anything up here, so we'll just we'll leave that alone. Because we're suffocating. Oh, shit. They can't get out. Oh my god. Get out. Fuck. These damn dupes. God, I have a lot of puffs. You're right. It's a ton. Uh, that was close. <laughs> Good thing I'm like half paying attention. Um, utilities. So let's go ahead and get a... Uh, Oh no, it's under, it was under ventilation. No, oxygen. Carbon skimmer. Maybe we'll put a carbon skimmer here. Where is the plug for that? Does it say on the overlay? No, it does not. Okay, we'll just put it down. Let's hope it's right. Oh, and that is incorrect. So we gotta stop that. Stop that. And then we'll move it over one. Da da da. Put it right here. Make it a nine. What is it made out of? Aluminum ore is fine. Fish. And then we'll pull water from one and then dump it back into the system, so. You should, we should dump it into, since we have an overflow now, you know what, since we have an overflow now, that's piping water in and over here to this, which we're actually now filling this up. Oh shit. <laughs> oh damn, we're actually gonna run into a, uh, Water storage issue soon, it seems. Uh, no, you know, we'll just have it go ahead and continue piping down here. And then we'll just pluck, we'll just take care of this and get more. What is this? Ice? Consumable ore. Bleach stone, huh? Whoa. I remember doing that. Alright, well, power's right here, so we'll just go up one. And then piping. Did I do that? Plumbing. Uh, so this is gonna go up and over. I guess it doesn't matter what temperature it is, because it's gonna be on neutral temperature. And so it goes out. And then we'll just go straight up into here. And this is it comes straight from here. Done. Power's good. Look at that built. That water's gonna drip down here. It's gonna clean all this up. This all is gonna be super clean. <laughs> and then, hopefully then, it'll be... There'll be enough pressure, or like a lot, or well, not enough, but... Um, we'll have eliminated some of the pressure in the area here so they can actually work because they're not getting any of this work done now because of this. All my jobs are pending. I do want to know what's in here though. I'll come back to that later. All right, skimmer's coming online in just a second. See that's done. Oh, insufficient resources low. Yeah, you guys got enough. It's they must be pulling tiny little bits from all over the place. Yeah, they're all just the tiniest little bits from everywhere. Let's speed things up. Wow. Needs 20? 20 kilograms? Is that is that what the, the, the cost is? Let me see. Uh it's piping, plumbing. Look at pipe. Oh, okay, yeah, it was these 100, I guess, so.
Can we really that out? Hold on, okay. So sedentary rock. Let's go look and see. It was a raw mineral. We have 22 tons. Oh, is it all past? Oh my god, it's all like in here. Well, <laughs> all of it is here actually. Well, that explains why it's low, is because they can't get to it, because they can't get enough get a suit that has oxygen so they can go over there and get the damn shit to bring it over. How funny. Catch 22. Curative tablet. Take it. How are we doing research? Almost. They should get it soon, though. And then how are the guys doing up here? Nobody's stuck and dying. Um. Oh, I should. Build like a nice little step system here. Gotta look how fast they are. Boy, they just get right on it, don't they? There we go, Wolvie. And then over here. Good. That's a tomorrow mic problem. <laughs> Very possible. Yes. Let's make that emergency. That way I'll know when it's done. Let me see. What else are we going to research? Let's go all the way up. What is this? Jet suit checkpoint. So assuming that our colony survives, we're going to try to do the rocketry thing. We're just going to give it a shot. You know, we're also, you know what else we're going to do? We're going to cancel this. We're going to cancel this. And we're going to replace it with a, with something, a resource that we have plenty of in the vicinity. Because this is not going to work. Let me see. How about sandstone? There you go. We don't need that one. We don't need that one. Just this. Mm, that didn't work out, did it? <laughs> I just didn't want to replace the other ones. See, sandstone. Huh? Uh, uh. Hey, look at that. Okay, so it's now it's cranking. Let me see. Dirty water, good. Clean water, good. Still got water going over here. That's great, actually. Works out pretty well. And then we should see this thing moving. Huh? Huh? It's starting to move a little bit. The only problem is we're going to get this thing pretty full pretty fast. We'll keep an eye on it. Is it because the suits have O2 points? Yes, yeah, this is why we're putting a skimmer right here, so that way we can provide a little bit more breathing room uh, for the electrolyzer because it does put out hydrogen in the vicinity, and I need it to put out hydrogen, or uh, uh, it needs to put out hydrogen in order to put out oxygen. Does that make sense? But also, I'm really surprised, yeah, I guess I guess over the course of like 100 cycles or so, it really does do, like it adds a lot of hydrogen to the space, like this is a ton. Like this is usable. Uh, what is this? So phosphorite, uh, iron ore. So we have some more iron ore. So let's go ahead and keep digging there. Uh, four. And then we'll keep going. How are we doing on this? Getting there so fast. The research is so fast. <sighs> but what's nice is that the uh, the carbon skimmer will just stop. It'll just stop working, or, you know, just turn itself off whenever there's nothing in the area. See, up here, this one's not doing anything. Uh, because there's just nothing to work with. Yeah, this is a good setup. The only, the only problem we're going to run into quickly is going to be this. Is that these reservoirs are going to fill up with, uh, clean water. It's all clean water. Right, yeah, water. With, uh, a good amount of food poisoning. Should probably store that in chlorine at some point. Pump that room full of chlorine, seal it off. That'll take care of it. We don't have any chlorine to work with. There's some right here. We have some bleach stone that I have in here. How much do I have in here? 183. I don't know if that's really enough to do anything. But this is perfect. 